we have to bring out the black gloves on this one. The Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel line is the brand's way of showcasing its technical excellence within its emblematic profiles. With this world timer, for instance, Vacheron will show you a couple of amazing features that will make you wonder why most world timers are doing it differently. This video is brought to you by Shiva's Golden Gems. The case diameter is 42.5 mm, a rather larger case for a brand that's part of the holy trinity of oath or lodgery, but not too big to break character. The thickness is 11.6 mm, which is relatively thin for an automatic movement with a roll time complication. Despite not having a treaded crown, this roll timer still manages a 30 meter water resistance, which is double many of its contemporaries. Exquisite materials are used here, with sapphire crystals, 18K rose gold case and hardware, along with an alligator strap to round out its elegant appeal. The movement inside is equally exceptional, with the caliber 2460WT that beats at 4Hz and is a weekend-friendly watch with its 40-hour power reserve. Let's revel a few moments more over this movement. It boasts the Geneva seal as one of the highest standards in watchmaking. The 22 karat gold rotor is elegantly decorated with an agron d'orge or barkley corn gilio shaped motif. Impression contains impress in it, and that's certainly the feeling you'll have handling or owning this piece. The immaculate finishing on the case down to the deployant gives credence to Bacheron's prestige. If there was a watch to work on bulking up a 6.25 inch wrist, it's this one. But that 42 millimeters isn't that much of a problem and I'm sure no one is going to turn down this beauty if it was handed to them. It does wear a little thick because of its broad sides, even though it measures just over 11 millimeters. The deployant also receives delicate attention and care. We see the Maltese cross design nicely carved out on the bridges with gorgeous grain surfacing breaking up the polished facets. And of course, opening and closing this clasp is like snapping shut a fine luxury car door. Now for that magnificent dial. This dial can be read in two different ways. One, through those elegant Dauphine hands, and two, at the 6 o'clock position. Very subtly, there is also a night and day indicator above the Lambert projection map. This is done using a clear sapphire sheet of glass. Another thing to marvel at is the city ring that actually considers all 37 different time zones. Yes, you heard it right, 37 and not 24 like most world timers have. This ingeniously accounts for the hour, half hour, and quarter hour time zones that some cities have adopted. Another incredible feat of engineering is that all of these indicators are set from the crown. No pushers or unsightly micro buttons that require a poking device. At the neutral position, the movement can be wound. The first step is setting the reference city of your choosing. And the final step is for setting the hour ring. The dial is an exhibition of restraint and elegance that becomes even more impressive in close-up shots. The multi-layer dial arranges the major cities in black and partial time zones in red. As your eyes push outward, the golden case captures your attention. The sharp details are there, but not overbearing. The clasp and case back are spectacles in detail that adds to the experience of owning a high horology piece. As it is presented here, this world timer has enough unique features that it's hard to imagine that it has more to offer. Owners of this watch, however, have the privilege of updating the watch. According to Bacheron, the movement is such an engineering innovation that in the event that another CD chose to be registered in a partial time zone, the brand's watchmaker can make a small adjustment to include this new city. As the world continues to become a global playground for the contemporary watch enthusiast, the traditional world timer is a worthy companion with a timeless presence, a presence that will be honored for generations to come. It's an amazing watch from an amazing brand.
What about you? Which of the new VCs do you like the most? You know what to do. Just comment down below.